Understanding anguish and despair, a deep dive into emotional vocabulary. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're going to explore two powerful and somewhat complex emotions, anguish and despair. Understanding these terms not only enriches your vocabulary but also helps you express feelings with precision. So, let's dive into the depths of these emotions and learn how to use them in our daily conversations. Anguish refers to a state of severe mental or physical pain or suffering. It's a strong word that conveys a deep, often overwhelming sense of distress. Imagine feeling so troubled or worried that it affects you deeply. That's anguish. This term is used to describe situations or feelings that are extremely hard to bear, like the loss of a loved one or facing a life-altering crisis. Moving on to despair, this term signifies the complete loss or absence of hope. When someone is in despair, they feel that there is no way out of their situation, and no possible solution seems to exist. It's a level of sadness that feels bottomless, often leading to a sense of resignation or giving up. Despair might follow a tragic event, a significant disappointment, or a perceived failure that seems insurmountable. While both anguish and despair deal with deep emotional pain, there's a subtle difference. Anguish often relates to intense suffering that can be both physical and mental, while despair focuses more on the emotional state of hopelessness and resignation. It's possible to feel anguish without despair, and vice versa, depending on the situation and personal resilience. To fully grasp these terms, Let's see them in action. Anguish. She felt a profound anguish when she heard the news of her brother's accident. Despair. After years of struggling to find his lost family, he finally fell into despair. These examples show how these words can be used to describe intense emotional experiences in a nuanced way. Thank you for joining me in exploring the meanings and uses of anguish and despair. Remember, learning to articulate our emotions with such specific terms can deeply enrich our communication and help us understand ourselves and others better. I hope this video has shed light on these complex emotions and added new layers to your English vocabulary. Stay curious, and see you in our next video.